All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Check this out. This is new from the company called Phelan and they have done several racer drones in the past. I've had some of them on the channel and I've done a few reviews on their stuff and their stuff is pretty decent. Uh, what I have here today is a little six axis gyro, 2.4 gigahertz controlled mini quad. Now this is different for a lot of reasons. It doesn't have a camera on it. It's primarily an indoor trainer, something that you can fly around in the house and it's in the $20 range. So it's affordable for most everybody, uh, your girlfriend, maybe for a friend, for uh, somebody's kid. It does say 14 and plus uh, on the box, which, you know, maybe we could bend that. I'm not sure. It, it's, it's very, 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 very uh, docile. Just don't get it caught in your sister's hair because you might have to cut some hair to get this one out uh, so be very careful flying indoors be care uh, control range on this one by the way is about a hundred foot and it's super easy to fly I flew it right here on the studio bench and was able to keep it in this area right here just hovering and it's, it's pretty stable it also does 360 flips which they call aversion uh, you can fly up down left right and it does come with a rechargeable built-in battery with a lipo inside there so uh, you hook up the little usb charger to your computer or a wall outlet and you're ready to charge it it charges up in about 20 minutes so it's a super quick charge you probably get about five minutes flight time out of it uh, and you have some sort of command on there called autopilot technology and uh, what that does is it turns on the throttle to a constant and, and kind of sort of almost like altitude hold and it remains up in the air. Now there's also a land button and when you're in that autopilot technology mode, once you push that button, it's going to only land when you push that land button on there. So keep that in mind if you're in autopilot um, for your auto orientation. So I'll go ahead and open up the box for you real quick and then we'll do a quick flight test. Just going to show you how simple this is. I'm take my little friend out. It has four props on here. This is the charge lead right here, and there's an on off switch right here. And I believe this is the rear. The charge port's in the rear, possibly. And it does have built in LEDs, by the way. Super tiny, weighing in under, under, under 15 grams, but it comes with a pretty substantial charger. I'll take the charger out and show you. So here is the charger that comes along with it. You have your auto, auto orientation button here that I was telling you about. Throttle switch on the left, so it is set up in mode two. Uh, these buttons over here might be your trim swi switches and buttons. And you have your landing button right here. Up top you have your speed button, and on the other side you have your flip button to make it do flips. I'll go ahead and move this to the side and see what else is in the box. We have USB charging cable. Like I said, it takes about 20 minutes to charge. Extra props. And you have your instruction manual in here, which let's see if it's all in English. Yep, it all appears to be in English, not Chinese. So you do have some pretty good documentation in here about how to charge the battery. Um, and the biggest thing about these minis, these micros, the prop guards are also removable, by the way, so that's pretty cool. Um, we can take these prop guards off and make it even just a little bit smaller, but you know, indoors, I'd probably just leave these prop guards on there. That way you save your props, but you do have an extra set of props. These are super tiny. So that's enough fun with this. Let's go ahead and do a flight test of this little Phelan mini quad. Okay guys, here we are with a little mini quad from Phelan and let's go ahead and do a flight test for it and show you all those different cool modes that it has. Like I said before, this one is kind of like a trainer copter for someone who's interested to learn how to fly drones uh, indoors first and then you move outside. One of my first copters that I ever flew was a lot like this one. It was a little Traxxas and it was probably around 100 bucks, but this one's actually around 20 So this is a great deal here for this one. I mean... Uh, about 80% cheaper than what, what I had originally started out with. But this one is fairly cool to fly indoors and it's very stable. But you don't have a camera on it, no FPV or nothing like that. This is just purely for flying enjoyment. Pretty decent controller on here too. Go ahead and turn on the controller first and turn on your quad next. Make sure you have it sitting flat and you'll see the LEDs are flashing on the front. And what you wanna do is take your throttle stick Move it all the way to the top position and then all the way down. 
and then it should be armed. So you see the LEDs on the quad stop flashing here? Now that means I'm ready to take off. So now I have a little bit of throttle and using this left stick, I'm gonna come up off the counter. So this is, if this is your first time flying, you wanna come up with the rear facing you. That way when you push left, left is left and right is right. Forward is forward and back is back on this controller. Now on this side, this one is gonna give you your throttle increase up and down, down to lower, and left and right is gonna actually turn the quad this direction on this axis, on this flat axis. So think about that, your first flight. Here we go. And you can see how stable it is right there. I was telling you earlier that I flew it right on the bench in the studio, and this little guy is super stable. And once you get used to the throttle, you get it up off the ground a little bit, you have something called ground effect. So when you get closer to the counter, there's vortexing air underneath the quad, so it makes it kind of bounce a little bit. That's not you and your bad flying skills. That's actually just the physical air underneath it. So we'll go ahead and come up and come away from the counter. And now look at how smooth it sits. Pretty nice. So now I can come over to my right a little bit. And I want to show you something that's interesting that I teach people. If I do a lesson for teaching somebody how to fly a drone, this is the way I do it a lot of times. So we're out in the field. We're going to pretend that this is a little mini lesson. So first thing I have my students do is I have them fly to the right. Using the right stick only, fly over to the right. What we're going to do is do a square circuit. We're going to go out, stop there. Then we're going to go to the right, stop it again, come back, stop it again. So we're making an imaginary square. You're only using the right stick. So we're going to go out again. We're going to do one more, one more quick one. Stop at each corner. And this is teaching you orientation. How to fly the quad in different directions using the right stick only. Now I did two squares. Now I can do what I call an organic circle using the right stick only. Okay. And it's just like a joystick for an Atari or an old school gaming system. And now what I have people do is, once they've done an organic circle and cut two squares, I usually have them play with the left stick and spin it around. And I'll go full. That's as fast as it goes around, folks, right there. And you can see it's pretty stable. All I'm doing is pushing on the left stick, same stick as the throttle here, and it's doing that little yaw spin. That's called your yaw axis. Now, if you get backwards and you can't tell which way you are, because this one doesn't have different colors in the front and rear, the props are all the same color. So, orientation is going to be limited to your LEDs on the back. You have red on the back and you have white on the front. So, you see the white LEDs here. Now, I'll back up just a little bit. Oops, went the wrong way. So, one thing to learn too, if you're a beginner and you're facing yourself, when you press right, it's going to go left. See that? When I press left, it's going to go right. And then I'm going to stop it. If I press away from me with a controller, it's going to come toward me. So that's something to learn and something that's going to be new for you if you've never flown an RC aircraft before. Whether it's a quadcopter, RC car, heli, or even this little one right here. They all control very similar. And mode 2 is the North American standard, which this controller is set. And mode 2 is always throttle on the left. So I'm getting a really nice battery response. Let's go ahead and do a punch out with it. We'll go down and then we'll come up. Pretty decent. Not bad for these little tiny motors. Now let's try changing the speed on here. Okay, so Pressing the top left button will help me change my speed. Now I can go faster. I'll try not to hit the wall. It does have prop guards on here. Pretty fast little guy. I wonder if it has a, a mode three. So that was mode two. And yes, it does. It looks like it has three modes on here. So you can get going pretty fast. Once you get more advanced, you can play around with this mode, mode three. 
So now we're gonna try a flip. We're gonna do a flip on the top right, right above your right stick. There's a little button, so here we go. First flip. Press and hold that button. It's not gonna do it. Come on, flip. Our battery might be dead. Our battery might be dead. And I think that's it, folks. That's it for the feeling. I didn't get to show you a flip, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, also, if you get one of these, don't forget that little auto land button. This is a super cool option. I got so excited with flying it around. It was so stable that uh, I get a little carried away with just with flying it. So thanks again for hanging out with me, you guys, and uh, checking out our, our giant mess in here while we're painting. I appreciate you. Please do subscribe to the channel because we do get new drones all week long and Drone Camps is constantly getting new stuff to show you guys. So thanks again for hanging out. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.